because of the erratic changes in the climatic conditions, most ports in West Africa have experienced flooding. Ours is peculiar in the sense that uh, it's in an estuary and we're more prone to climate risks when it comes to sea level rise and increased sedimentation and precipitation. And these are all things that uh, makes the collaboration with GCIP very important so that we can mitigate some of these uh, climate hazards. Flooding will impact the port equipment, the cargo, and the workers. The port is the economic lifeline of the country. About 80% of cargo coming and going out of the country passes through the port. And this is the only port we have. The Gambia is below the sea level, especially along the coast, uh, Banjul in particular. And all predictions are that um, if care is not taken, the Gambia, especially the capital Banjul, will sink in the next 50 years. And when the port floods, it disrupts the operations. Sometimes we have to stop to allow the water to recede. The African Development Bank, working with the GCA, created the program called the African Adaptation Acceleration Program, AAP, provided you know, financing support to make you know, the old infrastructure project in Africa more climate resilient. They're giving the support with the GCA to assess you know, how the, uh, you know, their infrastructure uh, to make it more client resilient against the uh, sea level rising or the, uh, the flood protection to protect you know, the local community you know, living in the coastal area. Well, uh, one of the uh, main areas that is uh, also exposed to the sea level rise is the road artery that leads uh, the port of Banjul to the distribution areas. There's a project that has already been developed uh, to raise the level of the road and increase the width and also do some uh, sea defense in terms of uh, reinforcement with the revetment to ensure that the structures are raised to a height that they will be able to withstand the effects of flooding. On the marine side, uh, what is envisaged is the extension of a, a jetty, an existing jetty, by 345 meters. 15% of the estimated cost has to be added to as a mitigation measure to ensure that the structures will withstand any climate hazards that are already identified. Now the scope is to uproot the current pavement, raise it to a level of 1.4 meters with uh, proper drainage and water outflow so that uh, the terminal should be able to also withstand the effects of flooding. And that makes me optimistic about the future because that will address most of the challenges that in terms of environment that we anticipate we can have um, a devastating impact on the, on the poor. By and large, uh, we're hopeful as a country that with the right investment in the infrastructure that are also climate resilient, the country should be able to achieve the growth uh, forecast that are uh, expected.